Oh, beautiful fish too. Oh, there is nothing better than catching tail and redfish. I am sorry. Whoo, this is so much fun. So we're here fishing this grass and it is, the, the water had pushed all the way up in here and this is all flooded and there's just tailing redfish everywhere. And I've been trying, I probably casted about 10 of these things and I could not get a bite. And finally I switched to the Power Prawn USA in the junior size and uh, that was all over for this guy. That's all he wanted. As soon as he saw it, he was all over it. There we go, tailing redfish on that Power Prawn Junior USA. That is awesome. God, what a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful fish. Hey there, Salt Strong Nation. This is Pat Ogletree. I'm one of the fishing coaches here at Salt Strong. And in this video today, I want to talk to you about finesse fishing in the summertime. Now, most of the time in the summer, you want to throw larger baits, but there are some times that you'll want to drop down to the small presentations, like a three or a three and a half inch shrimp or something like that, because the larger baits aren't working. And I'll talk about a couple of those scenarios. Now, the first scenario that I want to talk about is highly pressured fish, and especially sight casting at a highly pressured fish. Now what happens in an area that just the fish see a lot of the same lures over and over again or they just get casted to a lot, it's really hard to make a presentation that doesn't spook them and that's where a finesse bait will come into play. Using something small that's got a light jig head on it that you can make a soft presentation and lead that fish by a little ways will often do better than trying to throw a large bait in their face. Now another scenario that I like to use finesse presentations is whenever you're at a bluebird type of sky day when those high pressures are sitting right on top of you, much like what we have today. Now, when the high pressure's out and you just have those dog days of summer and it's there's no wind out there, sometimes you just have to size down, go small, go slow, and fish those high target presentations, those high percentage targets, and those will produce bites sometimes a lot better than taking a big lure and just blind casting everywhere. Now, another situation that you can run across in the summertime that a finesse bait will actually work better is when you run across fish feeding on fry bait. Now, in the springtime, what happens is you get a lot of that fry bait that gets flushed out of the creeks because that's the emergent bait that's coming out. Now, it's common to use smaller lures in the spring, but in the summertime, we typically go large because the bait fish grow. Well, this fry bait hatches pretty much all summer long, and sometimes what'll happen is those fish will key in on just the fry bait and your larger presentations aren't working. So if you see this happening, that's when we wanna go back down to a finesse presentation like we were using in the springtime. Now, another situation where I like to use a finesse bait is species specific, and specifically you guys out there that have juvenile tarpon one of my favorite juvenile tarpon lures out there and I feel it's the best one is actually one of our 2.0 series lures that is nubbed up and rigged on a net head that is an absolutely outstanding lure for your juvenile tarpon so let's talk about my three favorite summertime finesse lures and the very first one that I want to talk about is this one right here this is the power prawn USA in the junior size now this one can be rigged several different ways but my favorite way to rig it is on the pro shroom jig head and this is the original net rig setup. Now this one right here can actually work fantastic on those finicky fish, especially the sight casting fish. Now the cool thing with the uh, the Ned rig, if you're not familiar with it, what can happen is whenever you throw it out there, it'll actually stand up just like this and it'll, that tail will wiggle and it'll call those fish in. Now the other way that you can rig this is on a rigging hook like the Haas Helix hook. Now the size that you'll want to use is a 3 ot. We have these available at fishstrong.com. Now one of my other favorite summertime finesse lures is our 2.0 series baits. This one is the Gold Digger, and that's also rigged on a Pro Shroom jig head. You can see that right there. This is an excellent bait, again, for those highly pressured fish, for those high pressure systems, and one of my absolute favorite all-time lures for juvenile tarpon. You can use any of the colors that we have, whether it be the Gold Digger, the Fred, the Flamingo Joe, the Slam Shady. They all work equally well. It's an excellent, excellent finesse presentation. So another summertime finesse presentation presentation that I like using is the TRD by Z-Man. Now, if you're not familiar with this setup, this is actually the, the original Ned Rig that started the Ned Rig craze. This mounted on a Pro Shroom jig head is a proven fish catching machine, and now it's in the Slam Shady Color, which we all know the Slam Shady Color is a fish catching machine. This is an outstanding lure. Now, the cool thing about the Z-Man Elastec material is no matter what the current is, this is gonna stand up just like this and call those fish in. And as you can tell, there's not a 
whole lot to it. There's no, you know, extra tentacles or anything like that. There's no fins. There's nothing fancy to it. And I believe that's one of the reasons why this lure works so good in finesse presentations because it is simple. This absolutely will get the job done. In this video on a recent trip, fishing coach Justin Ritchie got into a pretty good bite using the Z-Man TRD in the Slam Shady color. And I want to share his thoughts with you along with a really cool catch using this presentation. After that, I'll come back and talk about the equipment needed to use these lures. My Dr. Juice down here, I'm going to repeat this at that point, at that point, because I'll tell you what, that was a little point or a pocket right there, and there were two, maybe even three fish, and they ate it pretty quickly. So let me get that all soaked up. And I kind of like the Z-Man material because this type of material absorbs liquids a little bit better. It's not like a traditional uh, PVC type plastic like Plastisol. Um, those plastics will still absorb the liquid. It still works really, really well, but I think the Z-Man material absorbs it just a little bit better. So kind of a nice benefit, but really that's not why I'm using it. The main reason I'm using it is because it's a small profile. Uh, it's buoyant. So when I bounce that on bottom with that type of flat head, that tail is just going to stick straight up and down. Um, and again, it's a small, easy meal. I don't think any of these fish are going to think twice about munching on it. Um, even though we're here in late spring and early summer, and a lot of people might see that and say, that's a winter technique. I beg to, uh, to differ because again, I guess this would mimic like a marine worm or it could mimic like a little minnow bouncing around. It, it doesn't matter. It's just a two and three quarter inch soft plastic that's buoyant. These Ned Rig type of baits are highly effective in freshwater and saltwater. And um, I'm trying to find all different types of applications to use them, not just in the winter time when guys are focused on downsizing their baits. Um, I think there's something to be said about this finesse approach. I mean, I did lose a big snook on it, so it's definitely working. We're gonna keep after it. We're gonna try to replicate that missed fish, work this point, that point, and all the way around the bend and see if we can find some more. Oh, a little red right here while I'm trying to... Oh, there goes a nice trout right there. Look at that guy. See that guy? Oh my gosh, good, fi good fish. All right, I need to get back into it. Okay, found a little, found a little zone where these fish are at. I just need to be ready to pitch to them. So they're here off this point. They're probably two or three trout. Nice red. There's another trout right here. Oh, no way. <laughs> oh my gosh. You've got to be kidding me. He just swam right over to it and ate it. Okay, that's a good sized trout. Okay. <laughs> Get my net ready. Hold this guy up. Yeah. Little Finesse TRD by Z-Man. We came out with that model with them. Just a little tiny two and a half, just sub three inch bait on a, uh, that's a one sixth ounce Z-Man Pro Shrooms. And this fish clobbered it. He came over to investigate, he saw all the commotion and uh, he was happy to gobble this guy down. So let's talk about the outfits that you need to throw these lighter lures. Now, you don't want to be trying to throw these with a medium heavy. You're probably not going to get that much distance out of them. That's why I like to drop down to a medium or even a medium light setup. And I'm going to use that on a 2500 reel. Now, my favorite setup that I have is the Daiwa Ballistic MQ that is on a medium light seven foot. I've got that spooled up with eight pound braid and I'm typically using a 15 pound leader, although I have been known to drop down to even a 12 pound leader if the situation calls for it. Remember, you're dealing with finicky, high-pressured fish, so all of this has to be downsized in order for this to work. And if you're interested in trying any of these finesse techniques out, we have all of this available from the Powerpron USA to the Finesse TRD and the Slim Shady Color, and even our 2.0 series available at fishstrong.com. And we have the rigging hooks too. We've got the Pro Shroom jig heads, and we also have those Haas Helix hooks that we were talking about earlier. So I highly recommend checking out fishstrong.com. So I hope you learned something from this video 
video. That'll help you put some more fish in the boat next time. And if you've got any questions or comments, put those down below and I'll try to answer those as soon as possible. And if you're new to Salt Strong, just know that we are the best online fishing club in America, where we guarantee that you'll catch more fish in less time, save money on all the tackle that you need, make friends fast, or it's free. For more information, go to saltstrong.com. And until then, we hope to see you in the community soon. Thanks for watching.